Legends, welcome back to the channel, and we're back for part two of Dad's rusty French Peugeot 406. The last time we spoke to him, he'd cut a great big hole in the sill and wheel arch and was patching it. He'd built the patch and he'd repaired the underside. In this video, we're going to catch up with Dad, see what he's done in the past few days uh, on the Peugeot. Hopefully he's got it fixed. I know, it has turned cold. Siberian. It is Siberian. Hello, how are you? Yeah, then. <laughs> are you all right? Yeah, I'm freezing. Yeah, come on in then. Let's come on into the garage. No, We're back. Crack, crack on, I'm off in the shower. It's yeah. warm. Well, yeah, I know. Um, I've had a few days at work. You've had a few days working on the Peugeot 406. I'm expecting it to be finished. No, because I've been to see wild animals and oh, stuff. I beg your pardon? I took your mum to see some wild animals. Oh, nice. Where did you go? Horncastle. Horncastle? What, they've got a zoo? Is it the Wolds Wildlife Park. Oh, nice. What animals did you see there? I went to see lions <laughs> only in Horncastle. So boop, you've... Boop, oh, no. okay. Anybody seen Weeble stuff? Yeah, that was the old Weeble stuff, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, look it up on YouTube. Where can you see lions boop. only in Kenya? Well, we're going to see this lion, the Peugeot 406 lion. Ignore the rust on the bonnet. Um, we last had a chat with you and you'd done something. You'd made a patch and you'd cut it out and you'd done all sorts. I'm going to just turn these lights on so we can uh, see. <laughs> That hasn't really helped the situation, but uh, yeah. So last time we spoke, uh, this uh, had, had had a hole cut in it and a patch put in its place. Yeah. Let's just quickly have a look at that. What have you been up to? I've ground all the paint off the sill and I've rust treated it. Put the patch in. I've got some red primer on it, so when I flat it off, I can see where the low spots are. And now, look at this. This is fantastic. You actually can't see where the rust was. It's a shame that you'd sort of gone a bit gung-ho and excited and didn't let me film the first bit, which was actually showing people the rust that was on the car. <laughs> are you proud of that? Are you happy with that? Not as good as the other side. Is it not? No, it's not. What, why not? No, it's not. It's you can feel some sort of ridge, can you? Or? I can feel a low bit there still. Oh. Are you going to put some more filler in it, do you think? Probably not. No, you're just going to leave it alone. Uh, and then, actually, no, I've also noticed you've like flatted off and sanded and filled well, the yeah, entire there's some sill. rust on the sill, so... So I, you're going to do the whole thing? I took all the paint and the rust off and I put the old coo rust on it. Do you believe in that sort of thing? The coo rust? Yeah. You think it does the job? There's been... Been selling it to people for years, so we'll find <laughs> out. Just because they've been selling it to folks for years doesn't mean it works. Mm. Um, so uh, I'm letting that shrink back now. Good. Before we carry on with the Peugeot chat, mm. we've had a listen to the van. That's coming to the channel. Yeah. We haven't found out what's wrong with the van yet. The problem with the van is you can hear it and I can't sometimes. Yeah. And actually, on the way here, I couldn't hear it. So it could, Serious? I couldn't hear it on the way here, no. I've had lots of people on the internet tell me it could be a wheel bearing. Could it be? It didn't Maybe. sound like a wheel bearing. It might be a wheel bearing just on its way. Yeah. I did spin it up and listen to them. Uh, or it could, as we think, now be an issue with the front brakes. Or well, something that... Well, don't but it sounds like it's at the, the back. The worst thing is, John, when I took it for a road test on my own, I just couldn't hear it. Mm. Okay. Well, we've still got some work to do on the van, including a strip down and repair of the front brake, or have a look at the front brakes. Yeah, you need a bottom ball joint on the offside front anyway. Well, we'll get one of them sorted as it's well. It's on then. the list. It's on the list. So yeah, I've been, oh, on a different note, I've been trying to source some front discs and pads for my Hyundai. Yeah. Talk about blinking hard work. Really? Yeah. What, why is that? Well, the websites aren't very clear. Oh, I see. Have you been to Car Parts in Motion? Yes, I can find the discs easy enough, but the pads are a nightmare. Have you not got a set of pads up on the... Uh... No. In the stock over there. I ain't got no, no, I ain't got no pads. I ain't got no snook for Hondas. What's that Hondo box up there? It's just some bits off the... It's not pads, I ain't got no pads. What makes you think I've got I some genuinely pads? think we bought a set of pads for Yeah. No. That Hyundai. Yeah, let's have a look. No, that's some... It's something that? to do with the mud flaps and that. And mud flaps aren't fitting in there? Of course they are, the mud flap. Oh, the mud flap. It's the mud flap box, is it? Yeah, there's just... Oh, well, I apologise. There's the scrivets and stuff I that come we'd, out. Uh, I thought we'd got you some pads. Yeah. So you've got to get some pads. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, what, but, and you can't find them, or expensive, or...? I found, managed to find the discs, because they keep trying to sell me some... 
two four one discs oh. for it, and these are two five ones. So they've got the bigger ones. No, these are two five twos. But the pads, I just can't seem to make any sense of the website, so okay. I set have another go at it. I got bored after about 20 minutes. Have you been it. to our friends at AP Titan? Not yet, no, that's that, my next plan. That might that might be the next plan. Yeah. See what they say. Euro Car Parts wanted as much for one disc as... As you can get for another one. Uh, yeah. But we all know Euro Car Parts... Yeah, I'm not... They don't have any decent discounts on anymore, <laughs> do they? No, I don't know what they're doing. I don't, I don't know, know what they're playing at. It's the same firm. Car Parts for Less is owned by Euro Car Parts owners. Yeah, I know, but, but yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, so, so Hyundai stuff is coming, discs and pads. That's what I wanted to ask you about Hyundai as well. The Hyundai timing... another company, because another company, if you just give them your details, they'll confirm. Car Parts for Less don't really want to confirm it's the right bit mm. very often. Mm. They're a bit. They just send you an automated email, then you've got to wait for another day for somebody to finally get in touch with you. the onus on you as well. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about Hyundai timing chains. How's it going? Well, I took it out the other day. Cause I was going to go out in that and I jumped in it and the battery was dead. What's that? Hang on a minute. Oh! The Nissan Note. The battery was dead? Yeah. Well, you need to get yourself on, I mean, faster, it's, it's, than your batteries or whatever. It's, 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 it's done. Your batteries. Hmm? I came home Thursday night, ordered it, and it came yesterday. Oh, you've already fitted one? Yeah. How much was that? £60. Pounds. What, for a battery? Yeah. With a winner. You pay a fortune to get them delivered, don't you? Yeah, good. It's cheap enough to get one from Alfords. So the update is on the Peugeot. It's now waiting. It's yeah, shrinking yeah, back. It's shrinking back. It's been. Well, I'm not visiting wildlife parks and eating sausage and bacon baps. Yeah. So, you, so let's just talk us through the process. Now let's do the, talk, the, talk about the actual thing we're doing, which is the Peugeot. You took that plate. You tack welded it onto the car. Yes. You then welded it properly. Yes. Ground it back. Yes. Filled it. Yes. Filled it some more. Yeah. Flatted it back. And filled it some more. Filled it some more. Uh, you're relatively happy with it now, and then you sprayed it with red oxide. No, it's not red oxide. That's just some red primer I'd got kicking about. Right. It's been done with um, the, the brush on, filler, spray on putty. Oh, what's that? Spray putty. You know oh, that really stuff. Is. Yeah, yeah, the Nitromore stuff. No, Max Mayo oh. spray putty. Fine. I'm just going to scrounge some more primer off of my mate. What, is that me? Yeah. You need, you need, I've got no edge primer left. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, you can have some of that. That's not a problem. Um, yeah, okay. Peugeot update then. It's not next. very exciting, What's is What's next? It? What's next? What's next? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, on the Peugeot. What have you got to do next? Paint it. Yeah. Are you going to spray into the wing here? No, just blow it up to here for now. Yeah. I've got, I've got bored with it. But it'll be done by tomorrow? No. When will it be done by? Well, mm -hmm. it's... Well, we'll do that. When will be done tomorrow? No. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Good. You'll turn your back and it'll be done. Yes. I want to see you spray it. That's what I want to do. I want to, I want to get oh. you in the spray booth. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right, no, so no. it's coming up to September. Yes, son. Uh, we've got a whole series coming on the channel. Excellent. Uh, which is the... Armstrong Siddeley. It mm. seems like ages away because we did it about a month ago, but it's coming on the channel. Uh, also, by the way, and a video went live which has gone quite well and lots of people shouted at me, the uh, subwoofer. Yeah, one person oh. says his is like that. Mm. Yeah. So I've I've reached out yeah. to uh, Sam. Yes. Our uh, smart car master technician person who has got access to all the instruction manuals. Yeah. And he on Monday is going to send me the definitive fitting guide to how I to fit I think you've that. got to take the, cut the carpet out from underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> no, some other person says his is like that, didn't mm. he? I, I don't think it's on upside down. It's just... But it does, look, it does look upside down. Well, it just seems strange that the speaker bit is wedged against the carpet. Yeah. It doesn't half thud now. Now mm. I've got the... Uh, got the equaliser set up to the point where we need to fit the tweeters, so that's a job we need to do, oh. but... Uh, yeah, that's a dash out job, I'm afraid. Uh, right, okay. So Can't be doing with it. Peugeot is staying on the road. It's all done and dusted. Well, kind of. It's just the next bit is to let yeah. it shrink back and paint it and lacquer it yeah. and drive it. You can't rush these sort of paint jobs. Uh, Frank has asked a question. When are you fitting the new clutch? Now, there's a point. <laughs> it's not got done yet, has it? Because no. I've been too busy doing other stuff. It, it will be done, won't it? It'll be, it'll be coming. 
fall 2026, who knows? Uh, but the clutch is a job that we need to do on the Peugeot. Your mum wants me to get rid of it and get something else. What would you, what, honestly, genuinely, what would you get? I don't know. MGZTT. Now, what good would that be? <laughs> what earthly good would that You know, I keep looking at things and thinking, can't get much in the back of that, can't get much in the back of that. Mm. Can't get stuff in it. Get a lot of stuff in there. Mm. I don't know what I looked at. What's next? I'll tell you what's next. It's discs and pans on the I-10. Okay. But the timing chain was a treat. I've put over 100 miles on it and it's not stretched yet. Good. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, people are shouting at us about Napa. There's always next week yeah. uh, for the timing chain to fail, and that and that that is coming soon. That video. What for the timing chain to fail? No, oh. the timing chain. Do process. it again. No, and I the did. van. Put and all miles on it on Thursday. And it was all right. And then the rust of all. Yeah, are we going? I, yeah. Are we? Oh, yeah, I've got some. Uh, uh, I've got I've got some news for you about the Rustiful. If you're not going to Rustiful, I'm going on holiday. Which I need to tell you in in Pistons the podcast. All oh, right, but um, it's exciting. Exciting, it's exciting news that you're going to go. Oh bloody well, not doing that, but yeah. you are. Um, so that was coming in the not. in the Pistons the podcast. Can't pod. make me do anything. <laughs> I'm a free man. It's not a meet and greet and autograph signing, so you're all right. Good. Uh, good. Anything else you want to say to the fans this evening before we... This is just a nonsense video, really, It isn't is it? nonsense, isn't it? It's a bloody waste of your time and the viewers' time, It's really. a time-wasting, waffling Yeah, yeah waffling, time-wasting I think the takeaway from the video is the Peugeot is still in the, in, in the garage. I thought it had been finished, um, but now there is work to do. Well, life doesn't revolve around tinkering with cars, you know? No. Got to go see the bears and stuff as well. Yeah. Good. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for the chat. Lots of stuff still to come. Uh, discs and pads then next. Yeah, well I can source some. How much do you think that's going to cost? More than I wanted. Yeah. Do you want me to be on the job? Do you want me to have a look? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, until next time, thanks for watching. Total. See you later. <laughs> well, there you have it then. Not quite there, but well, pretty much near as damn it. The next update, I suppose, will probably be the job is done and we will have a look at that. But considering Dad has been out and about for the past couple of days, well, I don't think he's done too bad. Lots more stuff still to come. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so to keep up to date, not only with the Peugeot 406, but lots of other things that we are doing. Like the video if you haven't already. Comment down below. Will Dad ever have a day off? Let me know. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.